So what does this UV radiation do? Well, let's take a look. Okay, there's a few main things. So it can cause genetic damage, cancer, premature aging, eye damage, and it can actually start to harm marine life. So you would think that in the ocean or in a lake that the UV would be stopped, but no, it still keeps going and it can actually damage marine life as well. Okay, so what's happening with genetic damage? Well, DNA can absorb that UVB light. And as we talked about, UVB has the right energy to break chemical bonds. And so where are we going to start breaking bonds? We're breaking bonds in our DNA. And so this is bad. You don't want to have your DNA broken by UV radiation. And so you can have some repaired by different proteins that are in your nucleus, but not all of it gets not all of it gets repaired. And so you get mutations, and so that's where you start to have all sorts of other problems, one of which being cancer, okay? So I'm light-skinned, like I said. I definitely have to be very careful with UV radiation. Um, skin cancer, definitely something that I have to watch out for. Um, even though I'm adopted, my mom, um, is also fair skinned and so she taught me growing up what to look out for and in fact um, right as COVID hit she was diagnosed uh, with melanoma and so she had to be extra careful during COVID because she was undergoing cancer treatment during COVID as well um, they ended up doing immunotherapy instead of chemotherapy which was a lot better. The side effects from immunotherapy are way less severe than chemotherapy. And so I have some images here where you can see some benign uh, looking skin patches and then things that start to get malignant looking. Okay. And so damaging our ozone layer increases the amount of UVB radiation because ozone is how UVB is absorbed and stopped before it gets to us. And so more UVB getting to us means that we have a higher amount of DNA damage if we don't protect ourselves properly and we'll start to up the amount of skin cancers that we see. So not good. All right, premature aging. So UVA, while it is not as damaging as UVB, can still start to cause problems with your skin. And so UVA and UVB will lead to damage to your skin that will cause you to start looking old faster. So I'm 42. I get a lot of people that tell me that I don't look 42. Part of the reason why I still look as young as I do is because I was taught from a very young age sun bad <laughs> your skin you don't want it to damage your skin so i've always been very careful about making sure that i keep myself protected now i probably spend more time indoors than i should i should probably get out more um but when i get out i do you know take precautions and in fact uh even now i try to be even more careful so i'm better about wearing hats than i used to be i uh, definitely put on sunscreen i have a three and a half year old daughter and we are very very much making sure that she puts on sunscreen or well, we put it on for her but we put sunscreen on her and she wears a hat outside as well because we don't want her skin to start to get damaged even at a young age and she definitely loves to be outside so wrinkles can be caused by the sun so all those people that love to tan that does start to damage your skin and it can lend to you looking a lot older a lot quicker okay your eyes can be damaged this is why people who ski i mentioned the reflection from the snow well, it hurts your eyes and so you need to wear protective goggles when you ski because of the reflection from the, the snow and then outside you want to wear sunglasses when you are out and about and so um, too much of that can cause cataracts to form and so it can damage your vision and then again marine life so plankton are sensitive to uv so back in 1992 um, in the journal science there was a study that showed that there had been a six to twelve percent drop in phytoplankton productivity 
during the spring um, under the ozone hole. So the hole in the ozone layer, and we we had more, you know, we there's different things we've done to try to to mitigate the hole in the ozone layer. Uh, but when there's a bigger hole in the ozone layer, more of that UVB gets down to earth. And so we started to see that marine life, the phytoplankton, were being damaged by um, UV as well. So it's not just us. It's not just, you know, mammals that are above land, but beings underneath the sea are also being damaged by UV radiation. So lots of things can go wrong with too much UV.